Okay, today I want to introduce how do we trigger media player instead of just event begin we use a trigger box to kickstart the media player video we choose the third person here then from here I usually like to start with a low, out, uh, low layout with a typical low uh, here so that you it's easier for you to manage your uh, editing view, viewport here we create a new folder for this project and from here and then we first we would drag and drop a source video source right to here first and then from here we can once we have a source material source video we then create a media player and remember we have thick take this texture asset so that later on when you create when you drag and drop the video onto the plane you have a texture background and from here we can look at the video media player see whether we we did we did have the source material here and so this is the material we have and remember we take the loop here and then so that the player can run in the loop and then from here we can create a plane as a screen right? So in this case, I just, you know, have it, have it here easier for viewing later. And here I go to 90 degree here. Right, and then to have the media sounds we can do it here by having a adding a media sounds here again remember to have the media player for reference And you can override the attenuation here if necessary. And now with this, the plane created, we can drag our source to this. And once you drag it in, you create a material here. Now all this is nice, nicely done. But when you hit play, you won't see anything because you need to create a blueprint for this kind of a video to run. And so in the blueprint, I usually just dock it here for easy reference like that. So here. You know you have the event player, right? Event begin player, right? right but uh, you without any container to set, you you can't play with, without any reference. So from here, for the video media player, create a variable here. And in this variable 
the the variable type is media player. Media type, right? So, and then for this media type, once you compile it, see the default value here. There's there's nothing here because please compile the blueprint. See. So once you compile and save you have this media player and you will again once again bring that reference into here only then you start to do your blueprint here you have open source as your target and you begin play again you need to bring that media player the source into the right into the blueprint world right and then you connect the begin play right now if you hit play right you should So now, how do we trigger trigger box, right? So instead of the event begin play, we can replace by trigger box. And so here we we will start doing a trigger box. So once we create the trigger box in this level, we can go to the blue pin on begin overlap. It's a trigger box. You see there's a reference here, trigger box. So first you have to pick, you select the uh, trigger box in the <coughs> editor here first then from there you, you call out this begin overlap then the trigger box will be that reference and from here you replace that you by replacing the event begin play by this and then you have compile and now when you play the video will start only when you when the third player is in that trigger box and that complete this tutorial